hi guys right i'm going to show you what i'm making this week so this is a chunky blanket with two stitches we have the treble chain one skip the stitch in this row and we have single crochet back loop in the next row so we've got single and then the treble skip one so i'm going to show you how i'm doing this so this is hook number seven right so we cast over skip a stitch go into both loops grab pull through cast over through two cast over through two chain one cast over skip a stitch into both loops pull through two cast over pull through two chain one cast over skip a stitch in both loops pull through two cast over pull through two chain one and we're just going to continue this to the end of this row This is a quick blanket because it's so chunky. It's also very affordable to make. These balls of wool were only one pound something. I think one pound eighty. Right, so we're going to turn our work. And now we're going to do. I did a, an extra chain, and now I'm going to go into the back loop for my first stitch and single crochet back loop and every stitch on this row single crochet so back single back loop single all the way along this row and then the next row will be the same as the one I showed you in the previous row, which was the treble. Skip one. So I'm probably going to need about 15 balls of the 100 gram balls here with the chunky grey. This blanket is very relaxing. I do different crochet styles for different moods. If I'm in a crafty mood, I'll do something more challenging like clothing or make a doll or a tilly because you've obviously got to count every stitch you're doing. But if I want to relax and just have something to calm my nerves or stop anxiety, this is a great one because where it's just a lot of repetition it's quite meditative so it's great as a therapy piece and these are just fantastic to make personally or for a friend I've made so many blankets for family and friends and it's so nice because it's such a personal thing so I can wrap up knowing that it's been made with your love it's like a big hug So you want to get started on this blanket, get yourself some chunky wool and seven or around a seven hook, depends on what you're comfortable with and just get started. This one's lovely because it's where it's got these nice gaps, it's quite movable, so it's not too rigid. But if you did it all in like um, double crochet every stitch, it would be quite rigid like a rug. So you want to keep some movement in this chunky wool. I hope that's been helpful for you today. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.